Now step on to Jesus Christ and thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has given us the chance for today so to praise and worship the Lord. Lord God Almighty, He protects us during the night and every activity. We have to thank Jesus Christ. As the word of God says that uh, uh, in everything we give thanks to the Lord, that the will of God increase Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to praise, we have to thank Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is, uh, we have to know the presence of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit because all spirit is a teacher that teaches how to praise and how to worship the Lord. And why God is a, that's the promise that comes from the Lord that He gave us all to praise and worship the Lord. We have to rejoice always. We have to be happy at that particular time that God has been given us today. So we have to present ourselves. So our soul and our heart should rejoice, should praise, should, should give thanks to the Lord because the Lord has been protect us during the night. And now we have to give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. At that particular time, that God, um, we are the children of God in spirit. We are the children of God in spirit. And now why we are we are being, uh, being saved by the Jesus Christ. And now we have got uh, this chance and this delight that to become the children of God. Because God has been given you this chance so to be the children of God. And the children of God also has been kept the commandment of God. And God keep the commandment of God every day. So we are supposed to praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have to thank Jesus Christ for being our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit testify with our spirit that we are the children of God. The only Holy Spirit that the promise of our Father in heaven that He gave us the Holy Spirit that He, he teaches and they remind you to understand the Word of God and teaching of Jesus Christ. We have to rejoice, we have to praise. We have to thank Jesus Christ at every time. When you walk in a different activities, we have to rejoice Jesus Christ. At that time and this precious time that God has been given us today so to listen and to memorize that the Word of God and to wake upon of the Word that God is going to gave us through this message. Lord is with us and he protects us by the blood of Jesus Christ. We have to rejoice. You have to be happy when you present yourself before the Lord. And we understand and believe that the Lord is with us. And before we start, we must, we must give glory to Jesus Christ. We must praise to, for his name. The name of God is the uh, Jehovah Sabbath, Jehovah Gibo. Jehovah Shema, that's the name of Jesus we must praise through this, the name of Jesus Christ. God has been given us the name. So the name of Jesus Christ, the name that protects us and guides us in every situation and circumstances. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Jesus Christ is the King of the Kings. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is the living water. If you are thirsty, you have to drink and be filled because Jesus Christ is with us. It's ready to fill you because you seek Lord and you pray earnestly according to the power of God. So you have to rejoice, you have to thank Jesus Christ because of the power that you have been given us. There is a supernatural power that God has been released from the heaven and gave you to work with this power. And you have to work with this power according to the word, that the word of God has been revealed to your heart. So if your heart will be revealed all things that God has been given us, so you must rejoice. You must rejoice and be happy because Jesus Christ loves you. As you walk from the morning, one day, three days, and forever, and you are being protected by God. And the word of God says that uh, we have been kept by the power of God. The message comes, Jesus Christ is to say that uh, um, how to live in the power of God, how to live in the power of God. This is the that God has been in today. We must understand this power, this, this word of God. And this word is, is amazing. This message that's amazing. This message is marvelous. So if you're going to, uh, to receive and keep it and work upon this message, uh, you will be blessed because this message is going to bless you. And you understand when uh, um, I, have been, I have been saved, how many years that I have been saved by God, I'm supposed to walk on the, in the power of God. If you have the power of God, you will be saved because Jesus Christ has been, uh, been saved you. So I'm going to read the Bible through the, um, the books of Deuteronomy. The books of Deuteronomy chapter 10, chapter, 
the books of Tron chapter 10 verse 12. So you have to understand how to live in the power of God. There are things that you're going to follow. You're going to understand. There are things that you, are, you must understand in order to, to walk in the power of God. To walk, um, to live in the power of God. So I'm going to read. The book of Children chapter 10 verse 12. The book, the book of the word of God says. And now Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? But to fear the Lord your God. To walk in the whole is wise and to love him to save the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul there are things there are steps that you are going to follow this and this is scripture that come from God is accompanied with this message that he, the message that he has been delivered to you today I think you have been prepared your heart so to listen and to receive this message that come from God and this message may be a unique message to you. As a, as a listener, as you, you will say, because uh, you are the children of God, you understand this uh, scripture and the word of God that God has been delivered to you today, this message. The first of all, God is said that uh, you must uh, fear the Lord, your God. You must fear the Lord, your God. That's the first, that thinks how, how to live in the power of God. You cannot see the power by naked eyes. You can see the, the action, you can see the, the result of this power. Because everything starts from the spiritual realms or in heavenly places. So it will come to happen in physical, and you understand this word uh, I have been, uh, I've been, uh, I've been said in the spiritual realms. I have been prayed in the spiritual realms. I will have been wish in the spiritual realms. So, Everything that started from the spiritual realms and you make it to happen in the physical realms and the physical um, that you can see in the physical and physical eyes or um, in the physical eyes. That is the thing that you have now. So things you fear the Lord. How to fear the Lord? Fear the Lord is that from your 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 heart. That how to fear the Lord. As I've been saved by Jesus Christ, and when you listen to the word of God and you receive the word of God, and when you believe the word of God. And you will be saved. You confess that is Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. That he, you have been received Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. And these are spiritual. And these things have been done spiritually. You can't see. And you can't hear that uh, Jesus Christ is that he shaking me in my body. No. That's the thing that you have. And you have to believe that. So fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Fear of the Lord, you will have wisdom. So if you have wisdom, that's the power of God. If you have wisdom, that's the power of God. Because God has been giving us the, the, the promise that comes from Father, that's the Holy, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit gave us the what? He gave us the gifts that God has been promised to us to receive. If you are ready to receive the power that comes from God, then you receive it because you have been hoping your heart and you have thirst to receive. As, as I say, that the Lord is a, is a living water. If you have thirst, you will be filled by the power of God. So, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, if you have fear of the Lord, you will receive the wisdom of God. And you will live at every circumstance, every situation, you will live. You are going to live because in this world you have tribulation. If you don't have wisdom, how can you live in this world? In this world, there is a wisdom of this world. And we have the wisdom of God. There is a wisdom of what? There is a wisdom of world. We do, we do not receive the spirit from the world, but the spirit from God. The spirit of God is accompanied with the spirit of wisdom, that we seek the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of what? Counsel and might. And the spirit of what? The spirit of knowledge and the spirit of fear of the Lord. As you read in the Bible, uh, 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 the books of Isaiah chapter, chapter 11 verse 2, then the spirit will come upon you. The spirit will rest upon you. The spirit will rest upon you. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon you. The spirit of what? The spirit of wisdom and understanding. That is the power that we remove with the power of God. And we live the power of God. If you have wisdom and understanding, you will understand. If the Satan deceive you, 
But you understand this, uh, this uh, the Satan is a liar. So you are ready to receive, you are ready to understand if somebody, if somebody is a liar, you receive because you have the wisdom of God. You have the wisdom of understanding that what you will seek through the Bible, through the word of God, through the teaching of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, he taught us through what? Through parables. Through parables. This is a message that the Lord has been revealed to us to understand this word of God. So, another, uh, understand this, uh, you, the, the, um, you understand the spirit of what? The counsel and the might and spirit of knowledge and you fear of the Lord. So, you understand that you, are, you have the spirit of what? The, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of manifestation, the spirit of interpretation. That's the power of God. And then you say that um, uh, you love what you walk with with the way of God. And the word of, of God said that uh, uh, to walk in all His ways. The second you understand that he walk in His ways. First, I will say to you that uh, the first how how you have to fear the Lord, and second you have to live. You have to live what to live in His ways. To live in all His ways. You do know the ways of God. Do you know the ways of God, the ways to live in the ways. As Moses he said that the God, and in, I, I found the grace in you, show me the, your ways. As Moses said to God that uh, if I have found your ways, if I have found your grace, give me uh, your ways. Give me your ways. Then Moses he asked the Lord to give him the ways and to show the ways of God. So we have to show, you have to, to seek the ways of God and you have to, to walk according to the ways of God. And the word of God said through the, uh, the box of Exodus, the book of Exodus chapter 33, verse 13, and the word of God, when you hold Moses, he asked you what? He asked God. He asked God, he presented himself before, the, uh, the, before God, and he asked God about the ways of God. Which ways do you need? Which ways do you need? The ways, how do you can walk the ways of God? This ways is uh, the, to obey the teaching of Jesus Christ. The way to obey the teaching of Jesus Christ. And just the, the way it means the justice and truth. That's the way of Jesus Christ. You, you must walk in the truth and justice. Or just and truth. That's the way of God. So you understand this. The way of Jesus Christ is to, to, to keep the word of God. And to obey the word of God. And to wake upon of this word of God. If sometimes all spirit is what it makes you to uh, remind you to work up and pray, do not be, uh, do not, uh, do not refuse to do it, but just do it. Do not, you may, sometimes you may regret it and do it. Sometimes you refuse to work up and pray, but you, you must regret it and pray and ask for the forgiveness and just do it. So just regret it. Every, sometimes you can fail to work up, but just uh, present yourself before the Lord and just pray. That's why God and Jesus Christ have been given this chance. We have Jesus Christ in your heart, so you must walk in the way. Be truth in your ways. Do not lie, do not deceive somebody, do not deceive, do not in the spirit of deceiving, spirit of liar. That is neglected because this is a spirit of liar, that's the spirit of this world. The spirit of this world. Somebody can talk to you that, uh, with, with the spirit of what? The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of liar. And you can understand that the spirit that here is uh, somebody has talked to me something, a, a, a certain story. But the story is uh, uh, comprised of some men uh, deceiving, some men deceiving, and clean spirit. So if you, you receive this unclean spirit and you work on this spirit, but if you have the power of God, he detect it and he find that these things are that have been listened. There are things that can listen, that can, uh, can imitate in your heart, that these things have been, uh, told, have been saved by so that somebody uh, told me the story. This story is not uh, true. This story is not true. This story is comprised of so many uh, things which are not true. So you understand this. And none God have been given this chance so to listen to the word of God. To listen to the word of God because you have the wisdom to understand an interpretation of what you have written. And you can take it and you can reject it if things are not true. 
So you are the way of Jesus Christ true. And you just follow this word of God. Do not deceive, do not be lie, because the spirit of liar. So this will work on the power of God. And sometimes uh, you must you must do what? You must uh, you must love God. Love God. At the word of God said, love God with you are all with all your soul, with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind. That is, that's the first and the great commandment that you must understand this. That you read in the Bible through Matthew chapter 1, Matthew chapter 22, Matthew chapter 22, verse 7, verse 37. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. The Bible says, I read it from 37, Matthew chapter 22. 22. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. I will mean to read. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is, is like it. You shall love your name as yourself. On these two commandments and all the law and the prophets, so these are uh, words that um, God has been giving us. If you love with whole your heart, how? The whole with whole your heart means that you have received the, the teaching of Jesus Christ. And this to take it into action, this when you are risen. If you are risen this word of God, take it into action and do it. And when you live in this word, take it. You do not hear only and, and live it at all. So then you read this word that you have been read, you have been listened, and in that you listen now, and take it into action, and take it into practice, and that you use this word of God and pray before the Lord. I will show that um, if you take you listen this word and you read it today, and sometimes after four hours, after one day, then uh, somebody asks you what you have been learned today, and what you have been saved. And even you will not remember even the message that God has been given today. Because this message is concerned with you. And this message is going to deliver you. And sometimes when you, uh, you move from here, you will not understand, you will not remember what God has been taught you. So, you will not work with the power of God. So, in order to live in the power of God, you must understand what God has been taught to me today. What the Holy Spirit has been taught me. So, what I'm supposed to do now? What I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to work with this word that God has been giving me. That to love God with the whole your heart, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. That is the that is the great that is the what? That's the first and the great commandment that you have. That the first and the great commandment that God has been giving us today. So matter understand, you walk with the power of God. You live in the power of God. And the word of God says that uh, uh, first Peter chapter 1 verse 5. The first Peter, the first Peter chapter 1 verse 5, the word of God said that uh, God what God is um we, we have kept by the what? We have kept by the power of God. We have kept by the power of God. So God the God is ready to keep to keep you with his power. And the power will guide you at every situation and your every activities. We are performing the activities. But you must live in the power of God. You receive the power of God through prayer. When you pray earnestly, as Jesus can say to his disciples, that you must pray, you must pray, so you may not enter into temptation. So if you not pray, sometimes there is a, a Satan is a temper. It can tempt you. It can tempt you. So sometimes you, you receive, there is a spirit of liar, the spirit of deceiving. So you relate at that particular time in this Bible, there's a full of teaching of Jesus Christ. And you read it, that the, the full life in this world. And the world is the wisdom of this world, as I said before. There's a wisdom of this world, there's a wisdom of God. Because the word of God says there, the first, um, first Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter what? First Corinthians chapter three, chapter three, verse 19, if you read it there for your own, for your own time, you're going to read there. Uh, First Corinthians chapter three, verse nineteen. The word of God says, "The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. 
Why we say that? That there is a foolish in this world. But if you have the wisdom of God, you will detect it, you understand, because all spirit is there to reveal all the all things that have been hidden. And we have been protected, you have been kept by the power of God. The power of God. So these are times that we have been used to understand this. And you save God with all your strength. That's the, 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 the third one. You have to understand. If you love God, you will keep his commandment. As the God said that in John chapter 14 verse 23. John chapter 14 verse 23. And the word of God says that anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him. And will come and make a home with him. Will he come and make a home with him? So God is ready to make a home with you. If you keep, he will keep his commandment, he will keep his, uh, his teachings because Jesus has been taught us how to live in this world. Even that in this world there is celebration. But God is ready to save you. He's ready to save you because God is ready for those people who seek the Lord. And the ways of the Lord is on the righteousness. But the righteousness and the ways of the Lord is ready to, to heal yourself. Is here to, to heal pray this message. There are first you must fear the Lord. You must fear the Lord in order to walk uh, to live in the power of God. And second, you must you must you must walk in the way of Jesus Christ. You must walk in the way of Jesus Christ. You know the way of Jesus Christ and the teaching of Jesus Christ. You have been you have been running this Bible. There are teachings of Jesus Christ and that obey this. And it's not a matter of brain and dust and living. I'm going to read through James, the books of James, uh, to show that uh, all those people who are reading the Bible and that they live it. And not hear the word of God that's preaching and uh, teaching the word of God and that they live it and they didn't understand and they didn't remember what they have read. And it's like all those people uh, who look at the mirror and that go away and they, sometimes they don't remember, did not remember what the shape or the face of the man. So I'm going to read it through the, the books of James. Books of James chapter 1. The books of James chapter 1 verse, I read it from verse, um, I read it from verse what? From verse 22. There is a, there is a, the Bible says, James, the books of James chapter 1 verse 22. Verse 22, um, I'm going to read it from there. But be drawers of the word, but be drawers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a drawer, he like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. So these are uh, it's a, a man, this man cannot live in the power of God. The kind of this man cannot, can live not, cannot live in the power of God. So, what you to do is when you read the Bible, and when you read the Bible, that you walk upon this word. And when you receive this message that comes from the Lord, that you must walk on this message, what God has been taught me now. So I'm supposed to live and just watch the Lord. As Moses asked the Lord about the ways of God, if I have found the grace from you, um, he said to God, if I have found the grace from you, show me your ways. What the ways of Jesus Christ is, the teaching of Jesus Christ, how to pray, how to live, and, and forgive. And there are some things, uh, faith and tribulation. There are some challenges in this world. There are challenges. There are uh, sometimes the situation can change in your, in your life. So you must pray to the Lord. And the Lord is God is ready to deliver you. And get with the angels of God. And when you fear the Lord, there is angels of God. And God is all the angels of God. The angels of you can't see the angels of God. The angels of God testify to your spirit because they, they work upon the power of our spirit. They work upon the power of our spirit in your heart. When God is all angels to wake up, uh, to, to encompass uh, and deliver you and save you, that is angels of God, the spirit can see that. But he will save you and you wake up to pray 
and they will help you to pray because the power that comes from God, the power of all spirit is come from God, and this is the promise that comes from God. So if you, if you obey his teaching and you walk in the power of God, you will work on the power of God. That the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. That you have, you, you will understand. You have the spirit of understanding. And Jesus Christ, when he went into the temple, and you said the Bible, and I said the Bible through the Bible, Jesus Christ, when he went into the temple, and he asked and he answered the word. And all those people who were in the temple were astonished, is, astonished about what? About his understanding. We are astonished about his understanding. And what is, why are they astonished about the understanding? Although the Pharisees and Jews, they, they know the laws of the Lord, but they don't keep with the law of the Lord. That's the claiming capacity. They were claiming this about the law of the Lord, but they not a work upon this word of God. They don't a work upon the law of the Lord. But if Jesus Christ just talked to them, and uh, they were astonished about this understanding, they were astonished about the understanding because Jesus said, they are astonished of, of what? Because Jesus is asking and he answered the word. But the wisdom of Jesus Christ and the wisdom of understanding, they were astonished. That's the power of God. If you live in this word of God and you work upon this word of God and you live in the power of God, how to live in the power of God, fear of the Lord and, and walk in the way of Jesus Christ and love God. And love God and serve the Lord because you are the servant of God. Everyone should pray that Lord let me walk, let me live in the power of you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now everyone should pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You are Jehovah Kibo, you are Jehovah Sabaoth, you are Jehovah Shetra. Thank you, Jesus. At that particular time, at that message that Jesus Christ shall be released to every individual person. That they have opened their hands to listen to the word of God. They are opening their hearts to listen to the word of God. This is the amazing message that the Lord has been given us today. Everyone understand the word of God. I thank you, all Spirit, for this power that you have been given us. Lord God Almighty, let every individual person that they have risen how to live in the power of God. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Let everyone receive the, the spirit of feeling, the spirit of feeling the Lord. Let everyone receive the spirit of, to walk in the way of God. Let everyone receive the spirit of love, the God. Lord God, I thank you because everyone has received this word that comes from you, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you have been released to every individual person to receive this power that comes from you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let everyone serve God with their with all their heart, with all their soul, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because they understand that the, the, the first and the great commandment that the Lord, you have given them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for this power that you have been released from the heaven and let everyone understand this word of God. And let everyone walk according to the teaching of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you for the gift that you have been given us Lord Jesus, thank you. Through the Bible, as we say that uh, uh, the, uh, the Spirit of the Lord will let upon him uh, the Spirit of wisdom and the Spirit of understanding, the Spirit of fear and the Spirit of mind, the Spirit of counsel and the Spirit of mind, the Spirit of knowledge and the Spirit of fear. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let every individual person, and believer, servant of God that they are presented before Jesus Christ. Let everyone has been received this power that comes from you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let everyone pray. And Jesus Christ will talk to his disciples that uh, let everyone pray because they may not enter into temptation. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. And Jesus, you pray and nursery when you we are tempted. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, because everyone and everyone walk in the in the power of God and the word of God says. We have kept by the power of God through the faith for salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.